Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Last video of the day. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna do it all over again and contribute to the GDP. Hey, also I have an investing finance question I am asking for my unicorn fiance to make sure she's on the right track. I say she's a unicorn without listing her numerous qualities, but she actually found your videos on her own. Well, that's a good qualification. And she is an even, even bigger fan of yours than I am. Well, then of course she's a unicorn. She's a wonderful, and she's beautiful and intelligent too. So I'll just leave it at that. I'm asking for her because she really doesn't understand investing, so a financial wizard like you can give us some good advice, I'm sure. She's a 25-year-old nurse, no debt of any kind. She's currently working per diem and has one year experience in the workforce as a registered nurse. And she's currently going for her bachelor's uh, for which she's able to pay cash in full because of her earnings from her nursing job. Going forward, I expect she will have her bachelor's of science in nursing when she's 27 or 28. And then she'll enjoy an 80 to $120,000 income depending on how much she works when and where, her, where she specializes. I don't think that's going to happen with a bachelor's degree. She's going to have to become a nurse practitioner to make that kind of money or a medical assistant. Hang on. Physician's assistant. That's what it was. Physician assistant <coughs> or nurse practitioner uh, with, a, with a bachelor of science in nursing and her years in, in work. And if she had a specialty, she could be in the 60 to 70 B. But to break that six-figure barrier, you're looking at nurse practitioner. Unless you guys are in some market of the world that I'm unaware of where that will get you six figures. Being somewhat of an amateur investor myself who reads this shit for fun, I was getting pretty annoyed when she was just letting 20000 sit in her checking account a few months ago and wasting away to inflation. So I encouraged her to invest 10000 in Vanguard's total stock market index fund because as a low expense ratio, I want her to get thinking of getting her money to work for her. My long-term goal with which she is tepidly on board with is financial independence in 20 years for both of us. It's not tepid. She's either in or out. And she, you need to convince her, explain to her the importance of independence. Um, and if you need help with that, have her read um, Poor Rich's Retirement. Um, people think it's like this workbook and how to. It, it gives you the emotional and psychological incentives in explaining that you are going to die and it should not be spent working. Working is your enemy. And so that will teach her and give her the incentive to get on board with you because it is right. Um, I, I, I have been with my own group. I'm like, we're doing this. We're being digital. No, 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 no. <laughs> we are, or at least I am. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so dear, if you're watching this, you better, and, I, and you will read that book, Bachelor, I'm sorry, Poor Richard's Retirement, and it will explain to you why financial independence is vital, vital. I wouldn't say to happiness, but it will definitely help with happiness. I also have a decent job and no debt right now. If we are keeping it simple and only talk about stocks, I estimate that we'll need 2.5 million to withdraw at a rate of 4% of 100% to 100K to enjoy a solid middle class life 20 years from now. Good account for inflation there. <laughs> Um, sounds like, um, early retirement extreme Pre or Mr. Money Mustache. Who's the 4% guy? One of those two guys. I know it seems like a lot, but I think we can both do it. I have some entrepreneurial ideas I will do when I finish learning my trade. But for now, let's just keep it simple. Say we need 2.5 million financial independence. My concern is that I feel like I badgered her into investing for the long term. Fuck you money before she was right. No, 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 no. Girls need their asses kicked into investing. They do. They do. Uh, financially, they consume more than they spend, uh, than they produce over the course of their lifetimes, on average. And yes, that is proven. Uh, New Zealand study. What's New Zealand? I bet you it's pretty close for every uh, former British colony. Um, w women, they're, they're not. That's not their realm. Childbirthing, having kids, raising family, feelings, da, 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 da. math, finance. Future preparedness, getting rid of debt. Uh, I have met some women who are very good with their finances, but by and large, they're not. And men aren't either, um, but uh, we're not interested in dating men. Um, this is one of those things where it's like, I don't care about your feelings. 
401ks, retirement planning, compound interest don't care about your feelings. Um, this is serious stuff. This is this is like you know you should get your vaccinations. You should eat healthy. You should go see the doctor and have dental work done, and you should be investing for retirement. Period. After some consideration, I think it's a priority she pays for her schooling and then invest whatever else is left over. Yes, well, that's true. She should pay for her schooling, but she's got 20 grand saved up. And I got a, I got a solution that'll take care of that. She currently lives with her parents. Oh, well, shoot, I'd have 20 grand saved up too if I live with my parents, but we'll move in together after we are married this summer. We plan to rent for the time being. A home purchase for kids are not on the horizon for the next four years. What do you think she should do with her money for the next four years while taking into account our long-term financial goal of independence? Thanks for the, I'll take a video, thanks. Well, key to financial independence is not having debt. Matter of fact, I would say that is the key for financial independence. Um, you can also go at the angle to have capital gains and your investments grow. Uh, that will cover your expenses. Uh, but if you can minimize your expenses by having no debts, that's huge. And having no student debt, I, I like her approach. Um, so that's good there too. And what's great, in the next four years, um, well, hang on, let me take a look at this. I'm, I'm, uh, what is it, 2018. <clears throat> 5,500, okay, so 2018, 5,500, assuming her you know, there's some interest in that account. Essentially, uh, she can make, she can open up an IRA. You guys could open it up through my Betterment affiliate program. Go to CaptainCapitalismBlogspot.com. Scroll down, look to the right. I think it is. It's a blue logo. It's Betterment. It's a way to invest in. If you're if you're interested in index funds, that's all they really do. Uh, you don't have to. It's just an option. But what I would say, she opens up an IRA account through Betterment or wherever. And with that $20,000, she throws $5,500 a, a year and funds her IRA account that way. Um, uh, probably a Roth for you guys because you're younger. Um, that's what I would, I would do, a Roth IRA. <clears throat> and that's where the $20,000 will go. Now, if she's got $20,000 cash and no debt, that means she's accruing savings over time. So I'm assuming over the next four years, even though she is going to school and paying for it and going to work, she'll probably accrue a little bit more money as well. So it's not like she won't have any savings. Problem with you throwing that $10,000 into an index market fund, you get no tax benefit from that. So uh, you, she is the perfect candidate to open up a Roth IRA uh, through either her bank or a brokerage online, wherever you want, the Betterment, you know, a cool Cappy affiliate, you know, if you love Cappy. And then she's got enough pretty much exactly for the next four years to fully fund an IRA. And that's a great starting point. Then you guys get the tax benefit and no capital gains. Um, that will grow over the next 20, 25 years. You guys will be in your 40s. Bada boom, bada bang, it's done. It's wonderful. That's what she would do. Um, that should take care of most of the 20000 And you are absolutely right to get her on the ball about retirement planning. Um, that, that's, the, that's a no-brainer for me. And I also like your goal of financial independence. That is a noble goal. Your time should be free to enjoy one another and your family, not slaving away at some freaking job, stuck in traffic, like like most of the American debt wage slave sheep. Uh, this is this is incredibly noble what you want to do, and like I said, get that. I'm not I'm not promoting Betterment and Poor Richard's Retirement because it makes me money. I'm promoting those things because they make me money, and it's exactly what you need. It's going to benefit you. And that book will explain to her the incredible importance of retiring early. And that starts with her having her money work for her. So she's got no debt. She should have like a, as long as she doesn't go below 5000 in cash, that's more than an adequate uh, safety cushion. But that money, you're right, it's just sitting there collecting dust. Don't let it sit there and collect dust. Have it help you out. So, um, yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, did Ansel concern you? Can, da, da, ba, 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 ba. All right, that's it. Cool. Uh, you guys got questions? Go to Cap and, uh, go to AsselConsulting.com. You have questions about retirement planning. Poor Rich's Retirement. Great book. Very cheap. Uh, everything else will be listed in the description below. We'll see you all later. Toodles.